prayers for healing and protection from COVID-19 or coronavirus. First of all, Lord, we thank you that your son Jesus in Mark 11 and 22 said, have faith in God and told us that if we said to a mountain to be removed and cast into the sea and believed it in our heart without doubt that it would be done, that it would happen. Well, we are dealing with a mountain called COVID-19 or coronavirus. And so, Father, we thank you that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord, no matter where they are. That says this in Philippians 2, 10 through 11. Well, Father, we thank you that that means that the name of coronavirus, that coronavirus, COVID or whatever it's called, has to bow at the name of Jesus. That you said in Matthew 16 and 19 that you would give us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. That whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose in earth will be loose in heaven. And so Father we thank you right now, hallelujah, that that there represents the authority that we have as sons of God and the authority that you have given us when Jesus our elder brother and king said greater work shall we do and John 14 and 12. And so Father it is with these scriptures that we as a body come against the coronavirus or COVID-19. Father we bind faulty statistics and lies from the media inaccurate data and inaccurate cures. Father, we thank you right now that we have the authority to pray against this sickness. Father, we thank you that your word says, surely he took up the pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God and stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, and the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, by his his stripes we are healed others verses there say we were healed in Isaiah 53 4 through 5 and so father we thank you for that healing we thank you for that peace we thank you that that word there shalom is peace and that means wholeness health peace welfare safety soundness tranquility prosperity perfection fullness rest harmony the absence of agitation or discard hallelujah father we thank you it means being perfect and full we thank you lord that your word says you would restore us to help and heal our wounds in jeremiah 30 and 17 and so we receive that for ourselves Father, we pray for ourselves. We pray for our health. We thank you that every person underneath the sound of my voice, Lord, that there is shalom in their body. Father, that they are receiving the benefits of shalom in their spiritual and physical body. Lord, we ask you right now that you would call Psalm 91 to be upon them, that no plague would come nigh thy dwelling, and no plague would come nigh thy temple. But Father, we thank you that we speak still have the authority to cover every inch of the body and so Lord we cover the viral entry, the nasal passages the virons, the cells the ribosomes, God the nucleus, hallelujah, the gogly apparatus, in Jesus name the virus will not stick, it will not stay it will not remain we cover every mucous membrane every cell, we cover the mouth, the air father, we ask that all all the air that you breathe will be clean. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that everything we breathe will be clean again. Father, clean the air just as you clean our food. You said, worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. That I will take the sickness away from you in Exodus 23 and 25. Well, Lord, we thank you that not only can you take it away from our food and water, but you also can take it away from the airflow. And so, Lord, we pray that you take all sickness away from the airflow. We speak to our temperatures. Hallelujah those who have them and those who do not. Lord, we thank you that our body be regulated. Hallelujah, that there shall be no temperature spike. Hallelujah, and for those who have temperatures right now, that the temperature shall come down to the right place, the right level that it's supposed to be. 
We pray for those who are on ventilators that you will supernaturally remove them off, that their breathing will get better and better, and that they will not need a ventilator. Lord, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, that we cover the brain. Hallelujah, the lungs, the superior lobe, the middle lobe, the inferior lobe, the anterior medial segment. Hallelujah. Every area of the lung, the main primary bronchos, the right lung, the left lung. Hallelujah. The segmental territory, bronchus, the sinuses, the kidneys. We curse pneumonia at the root. I said we curse pneumonia at the root. Hallelujah. Every anti-inflation of the lungs, every inflation of the small air sacs, we bind every bacteria, every infection right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that you would breathe into our lungs, that your breath, your breath, your ruach would be in our lungs. That in Job 33 and 4, it says the spirit of God has made me and the breath of God gives me new life. We thank you for new life and new lungs. Ezekiel 37 and 6, it says, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, that you may come to life. I will put new sinews in you. I will attach new tendons in you and make your flesh grow upon you and cover you with skin. I will put my breath within you so that you will come to life. Then you will know that I am Lord. And so, Father, I thank you that new you would cause hallelujah new breath to flow in us that you would even give us new nostrils to breathe we cover and protect our family our friends every person who is battling with this hallelujah father we thank you that we can come and intercede on their behalf Hallelujah, that your scripture says, if anyone among you sick, let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them. And that with the oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer offered in faith that will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven in James 5, 14 and 15. And so, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, that by your son's blood, it covered a multitude of sins and so we repent on behalf of those who have not walked with you have not honored you father we ask that your blood would speak on behalf of them hallelujah of those who cannot speak for themselves of those who are weak we declare that they shall live and surely not die to declare the word of the lord 118 and 17 declares that once again it says that we will declare that they shall live and surely not die father we claim them for the kingdom i said we claim them for the kingdom and we ask that you would raise them up to do mighty works we intercede on their behalf we thank you that you shall be their shield and their buckler that you oh god will not cause them to be robbed of the long life that you have mentioned in psalm 91 and 16 father we thank you that with long life you will satisfy us according to the bible god we thank you that you have promised us every human 120 years of life that your scripture in Genesis 6 and 3 says and that the Lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be 120 years and so that word there means that we have the promise from you father we have a promise from you with long life you will satisfy us that word satisfaction means to be pleased happy self-satisfied triumphant so father i pray that you would cause us to be satisfied with the life that you have given us and we receive the long life over our lives i thank you that you will cover every health of issue the doctors the nurses the aides the administration the researchers those who work in the health department the cdc the inventors those who are researching a cure as we speak father we thank you that you would lead and guide and protect them those who have to work every day we cover them in the blood of jesus we cover the essential workers father we thank you that you would lead and protect
protect them. Father, protect every nation. Protect the food, the food piles and the food stocks. Protect the stocks and the, protect the trades. Every industry that honors you, we pray that you would be a hedge of protection, that you would be upon them, even the lawmakers and those in the judiciary field. Father, we pray that you would lead and guide them even as they are making new laws and legislation. We thank you for the Apple resources. We thank you for the right funding. We thank you, God, that you are Lord of all and so, hallelujah, we ask that you continue to do your work. Father, we ask that you continue to do what you said you would do in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you have given all authority, hallelujah, all dominion, all power, that you have caused us to do greater works, but in the end of the day, all of this is in your hands, hallelujah, that your son Jesus took the keys of death and when he descended hallelujah and also ascended father that he released the captives father we ask that you would free us of the spirit of covid this wicked spirit hallelujah that you would uncover every demonic system every demonic stronghold hallelujah every strong man associated with this thing father we ask that you would curse it at the root in the name of jesus let your power speak for itself cause your angels to oversee the nations and cause your spiritual revolution to occur we thank you we're dependent on you and we continue to pray in jesus name amen and amen